Thanks for checking out this question from our daily live Zoom calls. Please like and subscribe to keep learning how we help the largest online community of self-directed retirement investors and entrepreneurs grow and control their retirement funds. Okay, we have another uh, biz buying a business FAQ with regards to a Rob's 401k. Here, the question is, I'm using Rob's 401k business financing to fund the asset purchase of a business from an unrelated person. Will my new C corporation take over the EIN of the existing target? So that's the tax ID number of the business that you're buying. So the tax ID number, the EIN of the seller is tied to the entity. And here, of course, the business is being bought as an asset purchase, which is very common in our experience for folks that are using a ROBS to buy a business. They want to buy the business as an asset purchase. So that EIN is not included with the assets that are acquired as part of the sale because it's tied to the entity, it's not a stock purchase. Practically speaking, when a business buys another business, the EIN of the new business needs to be updated throughout the business operations. So new bank account, new merchant account, et cetera. So for example, with our Jones ice cream shop and Smith ice cream shop example from the last question, you might have your new entity Smith ice cream shop buying all the assets of Jones Ice Cream Shop. So Smith Ice Cream Shop is going to have its new own tax ID number, new bank account, new merchant account. So you're not going to you're not going to necessarily take over all the existing accounts from the seller. Instead, you're going to get the underlying assets, right? The inventory, maybe the real estate if they have, if they own real estate. You know, the the name, right? The goodwill, the website, whatever the case may be.